Okay, so we're going to continue to solve quadratics, and we could use the quadratic formula to solve this, but instead I'm going to factor this. It's pretty easy. Um, at first it may seem a bit complicated because we need to multiply these two numbers, the 2 and the 4, to get 8, of course. So we're going to look for two numbers that multiply to 8 and add up to the middle term, which is negative 9. Okay. So two numbers that multiply to 8 and add up to negative 9 will be negative 1 and negative 8. Later I can give you guys tips on how to find these numbers if it's not as easy. And when that happens we split up the negative 9 x into negative 1x and negative 8x just like that that's an ugly 8 and the 4 and the 2x come down 2x squared come down as well so 2x squared minus 1x minus 8x plus 4 oh that doesn't look like a plus at all okay plus 4 pretend that that looks like a plus and that looks like a 4. Um, then what we do is that we pair these guys and factor them. So well, x is all that these two have in common. So we factor it out, making this 2x minus 1. And what do these guys have in common? Just a, well, a 4. And uh, we can pull out a negative 4 since this is a negative 8. Negative 8x divided by negative 4 is 2x. And positive 4 divided by negative 4 is negative 1. Oh, look at this. This is a coincidence that we have 2x minus 1 here and 2x minus 1 here? No, it's not a coincidence. In fact, we need to have them be the same in order for this to work out. So x times 2x minus 1 minus 4 bracket 2x minus 1 again. We can factor this into x minus 4 oops brackets times 2x minus 1 so that works out nicely just because these guys are repeating that we can make it a 2x minus 1. And then finally, to just solve the entire equation, x is going to be equal to 4 because of this term and half because of this term. And I'll show you why. So that's the final answer. 4 and half. If you don't understand why we got half, it's simple. We can just go 2x minus 1 equals 0 to find it and solve the equation. Wow, that doesn't look like a 0, so I'm going to undo that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a better, better 0, slightly better. Um, I can add 1 to both sides, so 2x equals 1. And then divide both sides by 2 and get x equals half. There we go. Oops. Four and half are the answer. Are both the answer to this quadratic. There we go.